In today's video, we're gonna talk about five new Blender add-ons and updates that you probably missed. These include add-ons that can help you create cities with lots of detail, add-ons for creating damage, animated text, and geometry nodes. But before we do that, I wanted to remind you guys that the Blender market is having right now a huge sale that includes discounts on add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. And today the 17th is the last day of the sale. And if you don't know where to start, you can take a look at the description of this video to find a list of the best Blender add-ons. Without further ado, let's jump right in. First of all, we have a very interesting new Blender add-on, and it is called Next Scatter. It is from the same guys that were behind the add-ons Next Street V2 and Next Train V1. Its purpose is basically the same as GeoScatter, which is to scatter objects on another object, but this one is a lot cheaper than GeoScatter. This add-on is fairly easy to use, and it has many simple and handy features. It also provides high quality, optimized and procedural instances, and it allows you to customize it to what fits your scene best. Next scatter doesn't stop there, because it has a library of assets that contains over 40 different high quality assets, ranging from grass, plants to flowers. It allows you to modify a bunch of settings when instancing. For example, you can modify the scale and density, and you can set random rotation and the viewport density to be able to work more comfortably in the viewport. You can also instance zoning to scatter only a specific geometry, and that's by using white paint. And you can also add or remove vortex groups, and you can set the clamping factor as well. Additionally, instances can be animated, and this feature was made to bring life to your scenes. The procedural animation works on any asset you add. You can set the speed, distance, and type of animation, and you can also control the height of the tree mask. To get a smoother workflow in the viewport, the add-on has instance optimization, where you can also modify the camera calling and offset, and you can choose between three levels of detail. The camera calling feature is also an important one because it forces the scattering system to work only on the camera's field of view and holds any instances from appearing outside the camera border. Additionally, you can use collision interaction, which is simply made to make the instance field interact with other objects that are moving around it. The sound can be very useful for people who are working with large scenes that include a lot of objects and need to be placed in certain areas in a very short period of time. Text Tools is another new Blender add-on that has been released recently. It was developed by Pictofilmo, which are the same guys behind Fracture Iterator and Noisy Cutter. This add-on specifically is basically used to bring together a few tools that can help you with text animation and transitions that can be used in motion graphics or any type of project to be honest. The add-on is actually not used in only one thing, but it is actually two production add-ons that have been merged into one, and these add-ons are Text Tools and AutoMask. Now, we all know that text animation in Blender sucks, and it basically doesn't even exist where you need to keyframe every animation, even if it is just a simple slide animation. So this add-on solves this problem by adding two must-have features to Blender's text module. The first one lets you animate text content, which means that you don't need to duplicate, then move it anywhere in one frame, then replace it with another one, and you can do this in one text object. The second one basically allows you to animate numbers in three different ways, which are int, float, and time codes. This will be extremely helpful. The other thing that this add-on provides you with is called Auto Mask, which is basically a material-based effect. This one can be used on any object that you have, and it works by adding a node group at the end of your materials. The effect settings that the add-on provides are very powerful, which is great when using some effects presets. Adding to that, this feature in this add-on can also allow you to create your own effects and create very beautiful animations fast. Another add-on that got an update is Urban Yak City Asset Pack, which helps you build urban and city street scenes easily in a short period of time. 
The add-on is basically a library of ready to use assets that you could use as a kit bash for your scenes. It comes with more than 180 photorealistic assets made with semi-procedural materials. And what I like about Urbaniac is unlike other asset packs, it has a dedicated interface that you can use to control the assets depending on the one you are using in the scene. In addition to the semi-procedural materials that are able to achieve realistic results with a high level of customization to the materials through a dedicated node group. The model's quality is also outstanding. These assets can really stand up in close-up shots, not to mention that all the models are based on real objects, so realism won't be an issue. There is also of course different types of buildings and sidewalks, in addition to asphalt roads, garbage assets, utility poles, generators, different kinds of electricity boxes, and much more. The library is also constantly updated, and for example, the latest 2.45 update has new asphalt objects with new modular systems, new decals, potholes, road weather effects, new highways, and elevated highways that can easily be repurposed to any scene. There is also a full overhaul and improvement to effects which are the elements that you can add to your scene like water and animated raindrops with full control over the color, intensity, and everything else in between, as well as a shader improvement. So now you can adjust everything without going to the shader editor. And finally, new assets like the all new sidewalk collection, which are new high quality sidewalks that allow you to build city streams seamlessly, in addition of course to a fully customizable material. Overall this add-on seems really useful, and instead of trying to buy everything individually piece by piece, model by model, this add-on which includes asset packs here can save you a lot of time and effort, and a lot of money as well I might add. From building cities to destroying stuff, we have wear and tear. Wear and tear is a new blender add-on that will help you add more life to your models by making them look old and damaged. Let me explain. There is a saying in digital art that goes something like this. Imperfection is the digital perfection, meaning making something look weathered, damaged, or old will make it more realistic. And this add-on will help you do just that. Brought to you by the developers of some of the best Blender add-ons such as Sketch and Cage and Sketch and Carve and my favorite Grease Pencil from Mesh which helps you turn your 3D models into a drawing. Wear and tear on the other hand, as the name suggests, erodes your models by adding, well, wear and tear to create that used, worn out look. This add-on reminds me of the other add-on called LCD which stands for One Click Damage. Wear and tear add-on produces a stylized as well as realistic looking damage. It can also erode your models individually or all the selected models at once, which is really powerful. You can also easily restore your model to its original state or only a portion of it as many times as needed, so the workflow isn't destructive as you can see. Another great feature is the ability to add mortar between stones or bricks. And yes, some of the features are premium only, but still, being able to add mortar between your bricks in real time is just a different level of control. This can be applied to one or multiple objects or even multiple loose parts on the same object. You can also cover any surface and extrude it using the controls provided through the add-ons panel. And what I particularly like about this workflow is that it is really simple and straightforward. You can stack the effects on top of each other, for example, you can easily add tear to your objects and add mortar, and then layer plaster above that, and the plaster will detect mortar automatically in its presence. And if you are interested in geometry nodes, CG Thoughts have just released another amazing add-on, and this one is about geometry nodes UI and library system. If you are a Blender user who enjoys creating complex and abstract 3D models, then this add-on right here is definitely worth checking out. So we will explore the features of this add-on and how it can help you create complex objects using Blender's geometry nodes. The Fluent Catalyst Geometry Nodes add-on is a powerful tool that is designed specifically for artists who want to push the boundaries of 3D modeling. It serves as a unique way to use Geometry Nodes based assets, and it works by enabling you to build your own adjustment menu without any prior skills, which is interesting. The add-on provides an intuitive interface for creating complex shapes and structures and you can do that easily, which makes it an ideal tool for artists 
who want to experiment and create unique 3D objects such as sci-fi 3D models and environments. The Anno basically saves you the hassle of constantly changing inputs of variables just to adjust them directly from the viewport with a neat menu and simple horizontal mouse move. One of the major features of this add-on is its ability to manipulate already existing objects without destroying the mesh. For example, it allows you to edit the global scale, width, and height in addition also to the thickness of the objects. This in addition to other parameters that you can play around with, such as the depth, the width, and the resolution. The add-on provides a built-in hard surface asset library where it comes with 13 parametric assets which replace more than a hundred assets. It has a potentiometer that comes with 13 parameters, a fan that comes with 14 parameters, and a vent that comes with 14 parameters. These parameters can be tweaked and changed to get various variables of the shape. Another great feature of this add-on is that it allows you to create your own custom menus and submenus for any asset-based geometry nodes in a few seconds. And you can copy or paste settings from any already added assets with the reuse function. Using this add-on, you won't need a shortcut anymore. If you already have Fluid Modeler, you can start editing directly from the Pi menu. Overall, this add-on is a powerful tool that can help you explore the potential of Blender's geometry nodes and create complex 3D models. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. Also, if you want to get access to the news of 3D software and the 3D industry in general, take a look at CG Vortex, which is a side YouTube channel that talks about anything new as early as possible and all the necessary updates. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.